We have a special treat for you today. We're gonna to take a house tour. And this is a historic home founded by Joseph Boniface Sprofka and his wife, Augusta. And you're gonna see woodwork that dates back to Rat Lake when they had a big sawmill out there. It's gonna be a real treat. Three generations have lived in, well, really four generations, if you count Ron and Sandy Sprofka's children have lived in this house. Now it's been sold. So you're gonna see it right before the Sprofkas move out. We're here with Sandy Sprofka. She married into the family. Three generations have lived in yes. this house. Tell us about this beautiful dining room and the built-in buffet that we're standing in front of. Okay, J.B. Sprofka, his name was Joseph Boniface Sprofka. That's quite a handle, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, he uh, had a lumber mill up at Rand Lake and in, in town and so it was too far to go from Purim, so he talked his wife into coming to Detroit Lakes to live, and she was not happy. He twisted her arm. Well, yeah, I don't know what he did to her, but <laughs> anyway, so she said, okay, I will move, but I, this is the property they had, in the, and it was this whole block. Yeah. Anyway, and she said, but I'm not living in that old house next door. I had a new house in Purim you're gonna build me a house if I'm gonna move here. And I don't wanna have be over there, uh -huh. I want the house to be here. So they took horses and logs and they moved the house over next door and then built this house. Mm. And it was built with the wood from his mill. Mm -hmm. And so the beams uh, in the ceiling are all quarter sawed, sawed oak. Mm. And um, from, did you say rat, R-A-T, lake? Yeah, it's oh. up north of Strawberry, right in that area. Okay. Anyway, so some of the leftover wood, the quarter sod oak is also in the floor. So mm. the floors are also, have a unique, some of them have a very unique uh, pattern to mm. them because of the way the boards were cut. What about this beautiful buffet? Well, um, maybe I, do you want me to talk about the architect? Will that help? Well, go ahead. Okay. Well, Victor Cordella was the architect for this house, mm -hmm. and he was um, came from Warsaw, Poland. So there's this all these Polish folks back a hundred years ago that were talking, I guess. Anyway, mm -hmm. so and he was an architect in St. Paul, and he designed about thirty churches across Minnesota, uh, like uh, Lady of or what is it, Lourdes and mm -hmm. Little Falls and the Browerville and also the St. Stanislaus in Purim. Hmm. And anyway, so he designed this house. Um, and oh, he also uh, designed Nye's Polonaise Room and a, a Glick's Brewery. And <laughs> so he was, oh, and the Swe American Swedish Institute. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so he, they wanted to use the wood from the mill. And so he did the design of the house and it was similar to other designs that he mm -hmm. did so okay well let's take a little wander through here okay you've got a modern kitchen that we'll see later but we're talking okay. history right now yeah uh, your dining room table is does that date back and the no nope. the chairs no those are just like early marriage so yeah. 50 years old okay I have and something the kind of like that is originally from Ireland we bought it oh. when we were there nice and had it shipped home in pieces Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, let's see the okay. um, the entryway here, and you've got some boxes that we're going to find out some <laughs> mysteries in the boxes because you've got historical things in there. Yeah, we do. But so I don't know. Are you interested in? Sure. Yeah, Raina noticed that right away. Yeah. The push button lighting. Yes, and I do want to point this out. We had a foreign exchange student from Lviv, mm, and Ukraine. so yes, and so that is. A, he is or was a famous icon maker, and so oh. when we went over there for her wedding, they gave us this icon. Oh, that is so special, especially yep. with everything that's going on over there. Uh, the other thing you might want to notice are mm -hmm. most of the fixtures are uh, original. Oh, okay. So, so they're 100 years old or so? Yes. Yep, okay. they are. Electric lighting? Yes. Was it always electric? Uh, yeah, I think it was. Okay, you've got some family photos here. Yeah, so this is uh, Ron's father mm -hmm. and his mother. Okay. And this is their wedding. 
and so this is a picture of their family uh, taken before their daughter was born. Which one's Ron? Right here. Okay. And he's 79 now. No, yeah, yeah. So Nearing 80. Yeah. And we're shooting this in March, March 18th, 2022. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see some Hummels. I recognize them. I might have a couple that are similar to that. Oh, really? Yeah. On the fireplace. Well, this was my uh, great aunt had a Hummel connect collection, and somehow I got it. Mm. Or I don't know if I have all of it, but anyway, mm -hmm. I don't really care for Hummels, so I well, think I'm going to sell them. <laughs> well, here's your advertisement right yeah, here right on there. TV3. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, living room then. Well, and maybe we should take a look at the porch. Okay. The one thing that everybody loved was a swing bed. Mm -hmm. This is the only swing bed I've ever seen. And this was where everybody wanted to sleep. Uh, in the summer. Mm -hmm. No air conditioning, so you'd be out there with a And there's a porch. swing, yeah, there too. Okay. And I love the ceiling out now, there. Now, what too. about, I watched the Home and Garden Network. Oh, okay. Because uh, you were featured nationwide just house, recently. House Hunters. Yes, House yeah. Hunters. And of course, the people from Moorhead who are looking for a house and love the historic nature, but they got all hung up about the heating. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, and this heat is really special because it's steam radiators, it's not water. Uh -huh. And so we never bleed them, we never do anything. Mm. But it's a steady heat, and especially in the winter, that um, radiator over there, you can kind of just lean your back against. And Mm, or warm up. My grandson and I have often sat on these radiators to warm our <laughs> behinds up. <Yeah. laughs> okay, and obviously the fireplace has been put in there. Yeah, it, it was it was originally wood and we had it converted. Now does this painting have a story? It looks yes. like a Viking ship. It is. Uh, Ron and his oldest brother Ed uh, went to Europe and Ed is an, an artist and so that is his painting. Oh. He gave it to us as a wedding present. 1987 and so we really like it. it says. Yeah. So that's the fjords in Norway. Yep. Beautiful. Yeah. Yep. So and then the built-in bookcases and we've been uh, going through books and getting rid of them. And, mm -hmm. and I know that you're active in uh, Tamarack too that Ron's been out there so when I see the swans I think of Tamarack. Okay yeah and that was another Ed's painting and the, mm. this Ed also did and um, he did the Schluss Neusfenstein. And Easy for you to say Sandy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's no. see the bedroom and right away I noticed the painting that I grew up with in my family home in Moorhead, the fairy tale. So this is a guest bedroom or is this a one of your child's rooms when you're um, it, raising your kids? It actually um, was called the sick room because if someone was sick it was easier for Virginia, Ron's mother, mm. to care for them whoever was sick down here. Mm -hmm. But this is also where uh, Ron's grandparents died. Mm. So um, Now we should mention when you say that Virginia was, a, was she a nurse? Yes. And Ron's father was a doctor. Was a doctor. Yeah. And his um, doctor's office has been given to the Becker County Museum, I understand. Some pieces of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll see it, it's in the basement, the okay. actual office. So he had his office in the basement. Mm -hmm. And then this is really special. Yeah, this, let's take a look at that. That is the um, wedding veil of, of Augusta. And isn't that a, a special way to show it instead of just having it uh, in a drawer or whatever and maybe take out once or twice but instead you're displaying it. That's a beautiful way to do it. That's going to give people ideas with their current wedding veils. Maybe so. Yeah. I don't know. It I wasn't it. my idea. I, I will take no credit. Okay. The other thing I don't know if you've noticed are the pipes. Mm -hmm. Aren't they interesting? Yeah. So hot and cold water. Oh, okay. So should we continue this way? I don't know. I don't know what you have behind that door, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Door number one. Yeah. All right. So this, this is the bathroom. Okay. And the sink is original. We had the toilet. We had to have the toilet replaced because it just 
kind of failed to work. Boy, that's really innovative a hundred years ago to have a separate bathroom like this. Yeah, well this room that you're coming into was the office for J.B. Sprofka originally, so I'm sure he wanted to have a bathroom close by. So he would see his patients first here? No, no, J.B. is the lumberman. Okay, I've so got to get did, my initials right. Yeah, so he did the, the um, here I can turn that on too if you like. So he did the the uh, books for the meal here, and mm -hmm. I think Ron is home. So let's uh, greet him. He's been volunteering at the school that he taught at for so many years. Rossman, yes. hi there, Ron. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for letting us come to your oh. three generation home. This it is, is awesome. You're it yeah. Is awesome. So, uh, Raina and I want to see the upstairs now. Is that okay? okay. That's okay. Okay, let's go. Yep. And um, Sandy told us that all of this beautiful wood came from Rat. Couldn't you think of a better name than Rat Lake? <laughs> well, a lot of muskrats are on there, I'm sure. Oh, okay. We have more to show you from this centennial home built 100 years ago with that wood from Rat Lake. That will be up next, next week. Thank you.